Disclaimers first, I'm not an expert. Everything in this video is only my uninformed opinion. This video is editorial in nature. I want to explain why you shouldn't buy the Mopar Corning Gorilla Glass windshield for your Jeep Wrangler JK. If you don't have time for the full video, the short story is this product is a total disaster and the warranty claim process is a raging dumpster fire. It's important to explain why I bought this. Jeep Wranglers are often driven off-road. They feature windshields that are nearly vertical. My experience so far is that Jeep windshields are prone to getting cracked. In under 70,000 miles of driving, I've had to replace the windshield twice due to impact damage. When I replaced the windshield last March, I decided to buy the Mopar Corning Gorilla Glass based on claims that it was heavy duty and backed by a two-year warranty. At over $500 installed, this windshield costs almost double what a normal aftermarket windshield costs for the JK Wrangler. In December, after less than nine months, a circular pattern of cracks formed across the entire windshield glass all at once. This wasn't something that started small and then grew. It doesn't have any apparent point of origin. It doesn't extend to any of the edges of the glass. The windshield never experienced harsh cold as it was only ever in Southern California. As far as I know, no abnormal conditions or impacts caused this crack to occur. To make things even more confusing, this happened on the inside pane only. I know this because if I run my fingernail along the crack, I can feel it from the inside, but not the outside. I watched this windshield get installed. The installer is licensed to do this kind of work. He used some kind of curing compound and wipe to prep the glass edges. The old adhesive was removed prior to running a continuous bead of 3M urethane windshield adhesive through a motorized gun onto the windshield frame. I have absolute confidence that this failure is not the result of an improper installation. When I discovered the crack, I was confused but only a little bit disappointed because Mopar claims a two-year warranty on these windshields. Specifically, the warranty says that the windshield has a two-year limited, unlimited mile warranty. Any worthwhile warranty covers manufacturer's defects, and this series of cracks appears to be the result of residual stress imparted through the manufacturing process, so I assumed it would be covered. I contacted the company who installed my glass. The installer told me that their supplier is unwilling to do anything because it was just slightly beyond the six-month period allotted by their supplier. I placed eight total calls to Corning. Every time I called, I was transferred to voicemail. I left multiple voicemails, and nobody ever bothered to call me back. I have placed a total of three calls to two separate dealerships who are unwilling to submit a warranty claim because I didn't buy from them. Mopar and Fiat Chrysler Group push responsibility to different departments, and after nine phone calls and many transferred calls, I was able to start a claim. They told me to go to any Jeep dealership to take pictures. After some arguing, the dealership agreed to take the pictures and to attach them to the claim that I had opened with Fiat Chrysler Group. Several days later, Fiat Chrysler Group denied my claim because it was submitted to the wrong department. Rather than follow up with me or transfer information to the right department, they did nothing until I called to ask about the status. Instead of starting the right kind of claim for me, they gave me another phone number to call to start the claim in the right department, and I started the phone maze again. At this point, I've made a total of 25 phone calls totaling over three and a half hours, two trips to the dealership, talked to dozens of people, and filed several online requests. Jeep, Fiat Chrysler, Mopar, and Corning have all dropped the ball on providing any meaningful help for their product. If you're a representative from any of the relevant corporations and you want to contact me to try and fix this, please do. My original claim number is in the description. If somehow you can't get my phone number or email from the claim, follow the link in the description to either my Facebook or Instagram and PM me there. If, however, you work for these companies and you instead place a comment on this video asking me to get in touch, I consider it an insult because I've already tried that dozens of times and you already have my contact information. To anyone who's watched the video to this point, if someone from any of these companies ever solves this problem, I'll make an update video and link to it below. If you found this video useful, please consider giving a thumbs up so the algorithm can show it to more people. If it wasn't useful and you feel like giving a thumbs down, go ahead, but please consider letting me know what I need to improve. Thank you.